Hi artists, today I'm gonna to demonstrate how we're gonna be making our Neon Glow City. So for our background, we're gonna be using these neon paints and we're gonna have this rectangle paper. And our goal is to keep these colors true. So yellow, orange, and pink and not get any orange or pink in the yellow, etc. And your paint cups are gonna stay on your plate so everyone can reach them. And you're gonna make sure you have a placemat behind. And this is where we're actually gonna clean off our brush in between. You notice I have no water. And I did that on purpose because this paint doesn't really like water. It kind of turns it gray and just waters it down, which we don't want. So I prefer to start with my lightest color, yellow. And you can do any designs you want. I'm just gonna start with some dots and I'm gonna do all my yellow before I switch colors because otherwise I'll be wasting some paint when I switch. I wanna use it all up off my brush. So I still have some yellow here on my brush. I'm gonna get it off. And now I'm gonna get all of it off on the edge of my cup before I actually use my placemat to clean my brush. So I'm being gentle still, not smashing my bristles. I'm going with the bristle, not against. And now it's pretty clean. So I know I won't mix in the cup. So I'm gonna to switch to my next darkest color, which is orange. And I'm gonna add some orange around my circles. And it's okay if I go off the page. I want to cover all my white space. So I'd rather you go off the page with your Place mat behind rather than leave a bunch of white space. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit over here where my pink is gonna overlap. All right, so now I'm gonna clean my brush off the edge of my cup before my place mat. And then my pink. I fill in the rest of my space. And you are definitely welcome to overlap. Like if I wanted some pink here, could add pink on top of my yellow. You can blend on your paper, of course, just not in the cup. So now here you see I'm kind of blending my pink into my orange. Some people like to mix on their paper and some prefer that true color. So you decide for yourself. I'm gonna do a little pink on top of here and then we'll move on to our city. All right, I'm gonna clean my brush. And then your brush is actually gonna sit in a bucket that's next to the sink because we won't need it anymore. We're gonna transition. So if someone's still using the paint at your table, don't cover them. But if everyone is done, you're gonna carefully cover them and close the lids tightly so they don't dry out. And then you're painting along with your placemat, because your placemat has paint on it also, is going to go on the drying rack. They're both just going to go just like this onto a shelf. And then you're going to switch to a neon piece of paper. This is construction paper. And this is where we're going to draw our buildings. And if you want to use a ruler, you can, or you can just freehand it. Just grabbing my ruler and my pencil. So we're starting with just basic rectangles. If you haven't used a ruler much, you wanna make sure you're holding it down steady in the center. Because if I hold it on the end and I start to draw my line, my ruler is gonna move on me. So I wanna hold it really still in the center. And I'm making some rectangles that are different heights. So I just drew a vertical line. Now my ruler is horizontal. And I'm pushing my pencil against the edge as I draw the line. So that's one building. I'm going to make my next one a little bit taller, make this side to match, and connect the top. Maybe a shorter one here, a little bit taller. And you're going to go all the way to the edge. It's very important that you use this whole width. So now I have my basic rectangles, but I'm going to make them a little more fun. And I'm going to use Sharpie to do that. 
We're actually going to end up sharpening these lines as well. And then we get to add some fun details. So we need a door in our building. We need some windows. And then you can add something on the top of your building if you'd like. And I'm gonna add some designs in here as well to make it more interesting. All right, now that I've finished drawing my buildings and my details, it's time to cut out my design. And my plan is to just cut off this extra top piece. And then um, next time I see you, we're gonna actually glue this onto our painted background that we just put on the drying rack. All right, it's time to glue my city onto my background. I have a dried background here. Now you'll see our background is skinny, just short, and then our city is just gonna rest right over top. And you wanna keep as much of the sky as you can. So you don't want your cities all the way up here because then you barely have any sky. But we do need to glue our cities all the way up so I don't want this empty space. So I'm gonna scooch it up a little bit. I'm gonna check the sides that it's lined up over here and over here. And then I'm just gonna sneak some glue underneath. And your glue bottle, make sure it's open, twisted open. I see this space tells me it's open. And then you'll have to wait, hold it upside down for the glue to kind of come toward the end. It takes a second for it to all come down there, kind of like a ketchup bottle. And now I'm ready to gently do a little bit of glue and tuck it over. Barely need any. And then I'm actually going to flip this over and just check that the back is secure. So I might add a tiny bit, just one little line under here. I'm gonna gently press down, not too hard because I don't want it to come out everywhere. Gently rub it, flip it back over to check. If I have any spots that are curling up too much, I can put a little dot there as well. And then it's time to work on my monsters that are gonna be living and taking over this city. So I'm gonna have a white piece of paper for this. And you're gonna start with pencil so that you can erase if you want. And we're just gonna start with basic shapes. And keep in mind, you are gonna be cutting this out. So make sure you're doing thick enough legs, thick enough antennas and arms so that you can cut them out. 